Okay, so today we're going to do a resin project. Uh, we're going to start it. It's going to take me a while. So I'm going to insert a picture here of something that I've made before uh, for my mum's birthday party for her 60th. And it's this um, cupcake holder. And I'm going to do a Halloween one for when I have my birthday party in a couple of years. So I'm going to start with the top tier, nice and small one. Today we might do, I don't think we'll have enough resin mixed up here for the middle, but that's fine. We'll do this. See how far we get. So I'm going to pop a little bit of resin in. This is a deep cast slow pour resin. For the other one, I just used a, a, a non deep pour, <laughs> fast cast sort of thing. Okay, so just squidge the mold and try and get that to go a little bit evenly into this space at the bottom. So, I need a bit more to come down this side. Okay, I think that's okay. And then in the top one with the clear resin. Where have I put it? Oh, no. Here it is. So I've painted this doily black. This is a paper doily. Don't know how this is going to turn out, but we'll find out. And I've put a hole in the middle for where our hole needs to be for the hardware. Okay. Let's try and squish this. Up. Shall I put some gloves on? This might be tricky with the gloves on, but. Otherwise, I'm going to get resin all over me. And that will not be good for my skin. I'm nervous about doing this, actually. <laughs> okay. our middle. Let's use the stick that we mixed it with to try and help us ease this in without it tearing. nicely hold down there we go it's going There. Just 
see that it's all nice and in there and straight. Yeah, great. Okay, so let's add a little bit more resin to the top. mold is a little bit buckled and bent but that's all right now it is a slow cast resin so the bubbles should make their way out nicely on their own the only downside is it takes about 72 hours to set for someone like me this is a challenge <laughs> i want to take it out right now and see what happens no so we're going to have to let it set. Um, now, I don't think I have enough resin to do a layer on this one, but I'm just wondering if I've got enough to do a little bit in that lip just to fill that up whilst it, and then we can, mm, I'm going to do this. I want to get it right down in there. Because it is a slow resin it should level it I see it's sort of leveling itself out already so hopefully we'll get just a little bit of a fill on that lip and then we can put our bits in there that we want to put in this layer That might be from the previous project that I made this mold. Oh, making a mess. Okay. So we can let that set now for 72 hours and then we can do our next layer on this one, which is going to be fun.
the set now, so I'm going to just paint this one with some black gesso on the back. And then I will show you once this is dry all the pieces and we will assemble the stand. So the reason I didn't put black on the back was because of the way the mold fills up because it will lay it pulls in the bottom and then as you fill it it comes up and up and up so as it dry you know we would have had a black layer up to probably about there and then I would have added another layer and you know it would have been a bit more complicated to layer so it's just easier to paint it with black gesso I've done this before the only problem is you've got to be careful because the black gesso will scratch off so I'll need to find some way to store this I'll wrap it up and I'll store it Really nice clean resin cast as well this one. This is how I did the black tear on my mum's stand that I showed you earlier. So it will stick but as I say it will scratch really easily. Might need another coat as well. This brush is terrible. It's kind of scratchy. <laughs> okay. Can't wait to show you guys what this looks like all finished. For you, you'll find out in a second. For me, it'll be a little bit longer. <laughs> okay. There we go. Right. So let's take a quick look at what we've got so far. So that's our top piece, the black doily. Our googly eye piece and then our bottom doily one there we go so I could have painted that white that doily white just to make it stand out a bit more but I quite like it like that you can just about see it, it gives it a bit more of an aged look to my to me in my opinion all right now oh, how do I get into this box come on here we go. So I've got my hardware. Okay. 
going to pop this together and I want to do something else with this as well so So that piece will pop there. screwdriver to hand it in. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to tie it to um, tighten it too tight anyway because I need to disassemble when we're done so I can pack it away. I just want to assemble it and make sure it looks good. Okay, that's not working for some reason. Let me just try it without the washers. Maybe because I need to do it the other way around. one on the bottom No, they don't feel like they're long enough to go through. Ah, well at least that's got a bit of purchase on it, okay. It's a bit wobbly because I can't tighten that bottom one at the moment. Um... Mm. Yeah, too big. Hmm. 
Okay, that bottom one is really wobbly. I'm not sure why. And that doesn't even feel like it's going into the thread for some reason. The top piece feels lovely and sturdy, but the rest of it, I'm not having any of it right. Um, See if this will work. <sighs> Get rid of that excess blob of paint there. Tighten it properly. <sighs> okay, that bit feels nice and sturdy now. So what exactly is wrong with this bottom piece? Again, there is another little bit of excess paint there. Let's have a look at getting that off. If I can. Oh gosh. Doesn't want to come off now. Drop my screwdriver here. It's, oh. looks more like metal than paint there. So uh, sort of filing down a bit. Yeah, it's better. Ah, right. Lovely. That's a bit better. Still a tiny bit wonky, but or wobbly, I should say. But that's fine. My cupcakes aren't that heavy. <laughs> As I say, I'm not really tightening it that much. So, 
should be okay and they need to go in the middle try that again when I put them together later now uh, yes I'm going to put that to one side and then we will work on this top piece Thank you. 